HMCS Moose Jaw by Garth Ukrainitz, Poet Laureate of the Black Mud Creek. The bull moose is king of Saskatchewan, a charger with monstrous rack. Like Samson in battle, with jawbone in hand, HMCS Moose Jaw attacked. Though a moose is a peace-loving animal, it will fight to the death if need be. You'll be rammed and be smashed into pieces if you mess with the moose family. Now the darkness of Hitler was spreading, but Canada stood with the light. The mightiest moose in the world answered call with the battle Atlantic to fight. A vessel well built in Lake Huron, five guns and 200 feet long, and 90 brave men kept the ship on good course through an ocean they did not belong. The moose helped protect merchant convoys. They sailed with supplies, then returned to help Churchill fight back against Hitler while London and Liverpool burned. The U-boats were always a worry. With the sonar, the boys listened close and Moose could smell danger when enemy near for the scent of the Nazi was gross. Off South Greenland coast, Moose discovered a wolf pack so quiet and still the guns were all jammed, so Moose charged and rammed. It was Canada's first U-boat kill. In rough ocean spray, men were seasick. All the food in the mess deck was slop. The swaying of hammocks rocked sailors to sleep from the bottom of waves to the top. In winter, old Moose Jaw was covered with a blanket of ice froze to deck. With axes and hammers, the crew chipped away, lest the ice cause the warship to wreck. In port, there was rest and reflection. Weary sailors would dream of back home, where the whiskey jacks fly through the moonshine in the tunnels of old Al Capone. On Gunshield, a picture was painted. Hero Moose chasing Hitler away with U-boat impaled in big antlers above for Adolf a really bad day. The sixth day of June was the D-Day and thousands of ships sailed with moose. The largest invasion the world's ever seen, all the forces of freedom let loose. Then after the war finally ended, the wolves of the sea ceased to roam and Moose returned back here to Canada, to Saskatchewan, swampy sweet home.